Hey guys, Mike Cricket 113. Hope you're having a good weekend. So uh, today I needed to uh, I needed to get on 220. I needed to get on the the 1.25 meter band because a couple buddies of mine I like to talk to uh, they're over on there, and the only radio that I have is this uh, this Balfang here. Let me get that in focus. This is Balfang, it's a tri-band radio, so it's got uh, 2 meter, 70 centimeters, and 220, so it's a 5 watt radio. That's all I got, and it came with a rubber duck, as you guys know, as the Balfangs do. So anyway, I saw this little project here for a quarter wave ground pole, plane, I'm sorry. Let's see if I can get this into focus, there we go. So, you get a, you get a bus, and you got your inches there, there's the cuts for uh, 2 meter, 220, and 440. So I cut mine accordingly. You got A, which is your uh, radiation, your uh, radiating element at uh, 12 and 5 eighths. And then you cut these for 12 inches. Now in, the, in directions there, they say to cut it all, the radials, which are these at 45 degrees, anywhere between 30 and 45 degrees off the, off the, uh, the zero there. Uh, you wanna have them pitched out at, but they said to cut them a little longer, which I did. Um, and there you go. So that's that. And there she is. Let's see if we can get into focus here. There we go. So I got a bus in there. I soldered that. And then, whoops, focus. There we go. And then we got, uh, I put a little uh, nuts and bolts in there. And the, uh, the size of those, let me try to find it for you, is uh, they're 4 by f 4 by 43 three eighths long screws. So uh, they fit in there fine. I put a little uh, loop around with some needle nose pliers and screwed them in and then soldered. That's not the best soldering in the world, I know, but uh, soldered the, uh, the radiating element on there and uh, hooked that up to a bit of coax. Got a little ferrite there to help with impedance. And I know I, I, I gotta get, I still gotta get a, uh, a meter for a VHF, UHF, uh, an SWR meter. I'm gonna work on that soon, or borrow one. So I got a short run of coax. This is basically a run for uh, like a mobile station or whatever. And then I got that hooked up to uh, the radio with an SMA female here, an adapter to uh, SO239 or PL239, I'm sorry, for the coax. So that goes in the bottom there. And so I tried it out on the repeater I needed to be on, and it worked. I got my contact with my uh, buddy Mark, and I was so happy to hear him on the other end. It was a quick QSO, but it worked. It worked. And this took me about, I don't know, 30, 20 to 30 minutes to build. So in 20 to 30 minutes with, uh, you know, stuff you got lying around the house, you could build a cheap quarter-wave ground pole. Ground plane, I'm sorry, antenna to get on whatever band you need to get onto. So anyway, this is Mike Cricket 113. I guess this is a Willet antenna. It it did, <laughs> it did. This is a Willet antenna. It did. So happy about that. And Mark, thanks for being there for me. Anyway, this is Mike Cricket 113, playing with radios. Have a good one. 73.